All right, well, welcome to tonight's live stream, live drawing stream, the air stream, the art in review stream. Let's get it going. All right, welcome. Hey, here we are. So I got a late start tonight again. Um, mostly just reasons. Uh, fortunately, there's no uh, no need for for a rush. Um, with this, so my, let me see if I can tighten up my. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Hold on a second. Try to lose my microphone. I got this. I got this. All right, uh -huh. I feel much better. Good. All right, so tonight I'm going to start inking this. Um, I've done enough, I think, with this. I'd like to actually move on to something else. Um, but I don't want to leave it unfinished, at least not taking it to the, to the next level of work or whatever it may be. So uh, I'm going to break out my Copic Multiliner SP. See these here? I have the uh, nice set here. Oh, I've got to go live on Instagram. Excuse me. All right, it's live. All right, so welcome to the Instagram, folks, the Insta fam. Uh, um, I'm going to start inking this here, drawing with these here multi liners, and so we can see how these use. Now, this um, this pack, uh, this set, set is the 10A set, and that comes with a 0 0.03, starting the smallest 0 0.03 millimeter uh, marker, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, point. 2, 0 0.25, 0 0.3, 0 0.35, 0 0.5, 0.7, and a BS. Uh, and that stands for brush. So you know, there, it does come with a brush pin. I'm not sure if I'm all that satisfied with the brush pin in the Cop in the Copics. And I really like Copic markers and, and stuff like that. Um, I do have another uh, brush pin, um, which is uh, the, the Pentel brush pin. This is uh, definitely fancier, I think. Uh, I might give it a shot. I don't know. Uh, this is definitely need a steadier hand definitely didn't need a better technique to use one of these here uh but uh, so i'm gonna start out with as i warm up it's safer to warm up with uh the copic i'm gonna start out i think i'm gonna start with the 0.3 which you, as we can see uh it's like a 3.3 and it's just um, a felt basically a felt tip marker uh that's all there is to it and uh but it is it holds its shape uh, and it holds its size very well. And I have re actually have replacements around here somewhere. I have refills and replacement uh, tips. Where did I put them? Um, I also have refills for the other, for the Pintel uh, brush marker as well. But uh, uh, it's, that's definitely a, an experience under itself. This is, uh, the Copic markers, I think, are really good for just um, just hammering out stuff, cranking out work. Uh, they're good, good workhorse type uh, uh, marker. Oh, uh, I don't even know what to call it, a multi-liner, because it's a it's a marker, but it just doesn't seem right to call a marker when they're so small like this. It's almost a pen, but it's not, but I mean, technically it's a marker. But there we are. All right, so let's dive into this. Let's see, where should I begin with this? In case I do screw it up, I don't, I don't know where to start. Um, let's go. Let's see. Maybe I'll just start with... I want to start with something that's not quite as important. So let me start with the bottom with this leg down here. I think that might be safest in case I screw something up. See how uh, my contact lenses are a little dry because I showered with them in. Note to self, uh, pro tip, don't shower with the contacts because the they just dry out. And they get sticky in your eyes and they're blurry. All right. Now the thing is uh, with these markers, they hold, they, because the width stays uh, very constant it's not like a brush pen where you can really vary the line with the line weight uh so if you want to get varied line weight it's always i will go over it twice or a few times to get it the right i definitely want to stay silent because if i start talking yeah, this one. you can vary the line weight a little bit with these but very little pressing very hard so the yeah i've already yeah. i am very restless i was using these a lot more last year but i have not drawn in some time i certainly haven't inked anything in a while so uh, i need to get the get the muscle memory going uh let's see 
So looking at some of the chats here. Uh, welcome back. Um, big A, let's see. Da, 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 da. Hello there, uh, Tom Hatton. Uh, draw another Popeye for it. Popeye? I don't ever remember doing a Popeye. Did I? Was this? I don't know. You'll have to remind me. But um, uh, maybe I get around to doing that. Doing that. Uh, big A asked, how was my day? Uh, it was fine, mostly. Um, yeah, busy as always. Busy day of coding. Lots of pressure at work because uh, I'm trying to get a, uh, a job finished. That is... Uh, that should have been done a long time ago, but uh, things happen. Fortunately, not my fault, so... Um, because I was busy with all these other things that I had to do. So do what I can when I can. But I'm trying to... Make the company look good. By getting it done quickly and... High quality. Every time I talk, I start... Hand starts waving. Tart seal. Oh, this... Terrible. All right. Now, secret thinking, uh, so far as I've seen, is nice, confident, sweeping motions. Uh, and you want confident looking lines. They should be confident. Uh, I've heard somebody describe them as a, not my lines looking confident, but describing lines, inking lines as being confident. And you can we can see the difference. When somebody has confident lines and when they don't, uh, there's definitely uh, a force, a power to them uh, that makes all the difference. Let's see. Oh, another quote from my book. Oh, that's a, that's a good, uh, good call. Let me see here. What can I come up with here? From the, the book. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Get that one. Now, some of the quotes I have underlined are actually just referring specifically to, say, oil painting. So not really relevant uh, philosophically to life, per se. Um, let's see. An interesting note about B, this because he wrote this. Um, well, I'm sorry. Well, he didn't write it all at once. This is a collection of stuff. But it was, it, call it... Uh, late 19th century, but definitely early 20th century. And he uses the word receipt a lot. Uh, R-E-C-E-I-P-T, receipts, like uh, you, when you go uh, buy your coffee and they give you a receipt for it. Um, in this case, the he's using the word receipt to mean recipe. Recipe, which is interesting. Uh, so there's this quote here. Um, it, he says, understand that in no work will you find the final word. So in nothing, nothing, no work you ever see, no painting or anything like that, where you see the final word on that subject matter. So no, in no work will you find the final word, nor will you find a receipt that will, f what, that will just fit you. So in no piece of art, no drawing, no illustration, no painting, no whatever, no piece of music as we were talking about last, uh, last night, will you find a definitive representation of the idea or emotion that that piece is trying to convey in no way whatsoever and moreover he's saying nor will you find the recipe that suits you best so you have to sort of come to terms with um with me that uh, come to terms with me what am i saying uh, come to terms with it or that uh i'm trying to think i'm looking at things i'm getting distracted here uh you have to come to terms with the fact that no matter what you do no matter what you produce uh, no matter how much heart you put into it it's never the definitive representation for you even for you let alone somebody else so that's that's i guess a blessing and a curse it's something you have to recognize that no matter how much time i spend on this drawing it's never going to be as good as i want it to be and it will never represent perfectly this uh drawing this this cover painting because i'm going from a painting to line art but moreover even this this painting is it's not the definitive uh certainly not the definitive painting uh art illustration of uh spider-man but neither is it the definitive representation of the emotion that he was trying to convey now looking at this cover one thing i'd like to note it doesn't really convey any emotion at all i have no idea no idea what is going on with this comic book with this story it is completely uh unrelated there's something just it's just it's just a portrait of spider-man but even portraits can tell a story but it's not really telling a story at all here whatsoever uh big a oh uh, trisha's hi uh trisha's trisha's watching hello welcome uh, to both of you, I hope all is doing well. I hope uh, the little one is healthy and uh, doing well. 
uh, as well as they can. Some babies always seem to get sick uh, at the drop of a hat. Um, as a teacher, I, I found that uh, when I was in Korea teaching uh, kindergarten. Oh, somebody was always sick. Uh, anyways, so getting back to this, if I can get back to inking this without getting too distracted, uh, distracting myself and avoiding the inevitable. Because there is something terrifying about inking because it is so definitive. Uh, one thing I went to not long ago, I went to, and no, it was last year, a show, an art showing of um, of Jack Kirby's uh, artwork. They had it here uh, near where I was living. They had this this retrospective of his uh, his illustration stuff. Uh, it was interesting when he got into the seventies, his stuff got really wild. Uh, but he, what I learned from seeing all the artwork, all the uh, the comic book uh, illustrations and layouts and stuff like that is they, they spent a lot of time with whiteout. There was a lot of whiteout just painted onto these um, these boards, these storyboards. And also they would cut them up. So they, if they drew something they didn't like, they would just cut out that piece of paper and put a whole nother piece of paper because they wanted to keep this artwork, but they didn't want to keep something down here. So they would just cut it out if they couldn't completely whitewash it with a uh, whiteout. So that was really interesting. There's very very sort of a tactile approach to very hands-on approach to uh corrections they did not have digital uh, the digital world to uh to do art with you just uh undo uh there was no undoing there was only cut and paste there was the true copy and paste i mean they, they really cut and paste they had to cut those things up paste things together uh a real collage type uh, approach to creating illustration and then we see the comic books and they're nice and clean and perfect you don't see the lines but that is the art of publication And so that was a uh, that was it revelatory, insightful. Now it is, I try to avoid that. I try to get it right the first time, just but that's a that's a personal uh, thing since then they were at that time. Of course, they're they have deadlines and um, uh, lots of deadlines because they're producing lots of comic books in a single month. And of course, as soon as that's done, they have to start right onto the next one. But let's see, thicker lines here. Now, it, whenever I start doing lines with Inga, I'm always reminded of playing the piano. The reason is, when you get to a certain proficiency, you, you start thinking about your, your say, the melody or the, or the line you're playing, the line of uh, music, uh, the run, whatever it may be, in a certain way that you're thinking from beginning to end. You're, you're imagining the entire, that entire section as a single unit. And one, you see a lot of pianists when they're playing, they're playing, they're playing, and then when they get to that last note, they kind of almost even roll their they roll their fingers on the key as though that's going to change the sound. Well, it doesn't change the sound of that note, but what it does, it changes the way you're thinking about it as you're going through it. So as you're building up to that point, up to that tension, so that you do not lose the tension at the end of the line, so that the, those that that note that comes right before it is just as beautiful as all the others when you had your the idea was so fresh in your mind and you play the first part of it and you, as as you're getting that energy and that idea out you don't lose the tension because you're still leading up to that climax even if it doesn't make a difference in the actual note well when i look at these lines i have to think the same i have to think that same way and that i'm looking at the entire line almost practicing the line before i draw it before it goes so that i've noticed if i don't then i get then the last part right before i lift the ink the pen off the paper that last part is really kind of ugly and it happened here because i did not plan it properly that just made me think of that and my hand starts sliding properly and pushing hard bad 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 Oh no, I think my uh, Instagram. Oh, I'm getting to try it again. Going live again. Shaking connection. You're now live. Okay. Oh, welcome back, Instagram. Sorry, something happened. It's hard for me to see the screen. It's like right here. And I'm trying to make it to the screen. And the hardest part is that I cannot, it's hard to get close to the page, the page to do this. 
and I'm going to move this comic book. I don't need this here anymore. Time to retire this for now. Okay. Right, sleeve. Back here on my dictionary. Uh, I dropped it. All right, so now let's see if I can. What I really like is one of those uh, illustrators wheels. I don't know what they what they would call that, but the if you ever seen illustrator um, animator, if you, the old time animators, they what the pause due to poor connection. What is wrong with uh, you know what? It's going all wrong. Instagram, you're not helping anyways. All right, uh, and you can rotate the image so if you can draw faster and use instead of having these trying to do awkward awkward arcs s curves or something like that you can do it in the more natural way from always drawing from your elbow i found uh, people have said draw from your elbow which is interesting when i played drums it's you do everything from your fingers you let your fingers do all the work but when you're drawing you do your elbow go yeah use your elbow hey, everything's good okay let's see if i can get back to this and do this yeah. getting close enough let's see about the glare there we go that's something comments here i gotta catch them on my comments let's see uh biggest it did you see peter jackson's movie uh they shall not grow old um video recordings and added audio and colorized no i've never seen that i don't think you've even heard of that um after okay i'll have to remember it uh, and play drums for oh yeah but yeah chapel i did <laughs> i do remember that uh for, it was christmas remember it was christmas time when i did that mr miller on guitar Now this is gonna be. I think I'm gonna make that solid. Oh, that's gonna be solid black. I think. Think about that. See, just being able to rotate, and rotate, rotate, rotate makes inking so much. Easier. All right, Big A, where are you going to bed? All right, well, have a good night. Yeah, I know, it's, it's, it's really late. Uh, I started late tonight. Have a good one, and uh, I just might see you next week. Until then.
I just need to warm up.
Let's see, question. Is there a certain technique you can use to make the lines straight when inking? Uh, a ruler. <laughs> that's that's about the only way to make them straight. Uh, Evinch, it, and of course that depends on, you know, the style you're going for, because some people will use a ruler to, especially, say, doing perspective, if they're drawing cityscapes, uh, things like that. Um, that's about all there is to it. Otherwise, it's practice. If you, if you want to have still... Uh, you get a straight line, but still sort of an organic feel, then you do it by hand, because you'll never have it perfectly straight. But yeah, in the case of perfection, as far as uh, geometric lines and shapes and stuff like that, uh, you'll have to use me a mechanical means of some kind. Uh, is the only way to go. Instagram keep I'm shocked shocked keep going. There you go. go live and stay live Instagram thank you oh my goodness anyways uh see another question let's see um uh, my husband said it's too late to stay up watching videos so I put my earbuds in and now my cat keeps attacking of course careful Cats will choose right, chew right through it.
Again with the technical difficulties on Instagram. Hold on a second. Go live. Stay live. Let's see if we can do that. We'll see. All the other channels seem to look good. Status update.
Live stream ended on Instagram again. Well, I'm just going to keep adding to the story. I don't care. Boom. I will continue to go live on Instagram or as long as I can. Et cetera, et cetera. All right.
All right, let's see. Just going over 45 minutes coming up on the 50 minute mark. So I think we'll just go ahead and wrap it up there. It's getting kind of late and I'm starting to lose focus due to the lateness and the tired. Uh, final question. How long will it take you to ink your drawing? Uh, well, you can see how far I've gotten in this case. So in about 45 minutes, I was able to do from here around this most of it. Um, I'll probably need a couple more sessions, uh, two more nights. So, um, of course, I'm not rushing. But, uh, it, of course, it, it really depends on how complex. Now, I'm going to go back over this to strengthen the line. So, it might take me the rest of the week, actually, to finish this one. But we'll see. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Airstream with yours truly, Kevin Gillespie, doing the fan art stuff, the master study. It sounds much nicer uh, than fan art, but technically... Uh, master studies are glorified fan art. Uh, all right, welcome and thank you. Oh, come on, it's like I'm starting over again. Um, I hope you come back for the next airstream, probably tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> see you in the next one. Might be the next day. Either way, there'll be a few more this week, nevertheless. Uh, roughly the same time, hopefully a little bit earlier, but uh, definitely in the evening, uh, late evenings in these late night live stream drawing sessions. Either way, uh, I will see you next time. So let me uh, put up the uh, ending thing, because why not? Uh, I still have to, because, uh, yeah, why not? All right. <laughs> see you next time.